Let me ask you this question, listener. What's a weaker move? Having banned substances in your system during competition or suing someone for having banned substances in their system during competition? And so many of y'all are still tap dancing for Ryan Garcia, a proud racist, a proud drug cheat, a proud troll, someone who does not take his craft serious. But it doesn't matter because you don't like Devin, right? That's all that matters is you don't like Devin. So now after all the na 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 boo boo, you can't catch me, you can't do nothing. All after all of that, now Ryan Garcia has no words. How do you dudes align with somebody who said F all black people? F all Muslims. I want to bring, I want to dig up George Floyd, who was killed from police brutality, from someone kneeling on his neck. I want to, I want to dig him up out of the grave, which is a crime, by the way. I want to dig him out of the grave. I want to kill him, which is another crime, by the way. And kill him again. That's what Ryan said he wants to do. I don't like, bro, I can see if you rock with Tank. I can see if you rock with Shakur. You don't like Devin. Devin and them never took it this far. They ain't never took it as far as I hate all Mexicans. I hate all wetbacks. I want all wetbacks sent back to Mexico. Deport Ryan's family. Deport Ryan's whole lineage back to Mexico. But this is the dude y'all trying to victimize today because Devin went the legal way. Hold on. This is how some people smartly move in America. OK, I can't I can't get you. I can't get street justice. I can't just run up on you and, you know, do what I want to do with you outside. I'm going to take it to court. Right. Dude's talking about, oh, it's not worth the image hit again. That's why these <laughs> y'all don't like y'all didn't like Devin when he was winning. Y'all hated on Devin when he was winning. So what's the difference? You hated him then you hate him now. So there is nothing that's going to affect his image from him suing. If anything, this might be a new breakthrough in cleaning up the sport of boxing. I thought that's what y'all wanted, right? Because if a fighter get in there on PEDs and beat your fighter to death, then what? You're going to be crying and putting up RIPs and you'll want to be doing petitions and all of this other stuff, right? So again, uh, it, it, is what Devin did illegal? Is suing somebody illegal? No. But testing positive for PEDs, not disclosing what you're taking. I think y'all forgot already all the things that Ryan said and did before, during, and after the fight. You already forgot that that boy was shooting his arm up with IVs. Who knows what he was doing that for? Right? You already forgot that he bragged that he cheated. He bragged that it was ashwagandha, it was this, it was that. He thought it was a joke. Well, 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 keep joking then, right? Just like he said, your honor, he can't dodge a left hook. Well, let's see what happens when it go in court, right? So after all of the things Ryan said, y'all still defending this dude, still acting like this guy is the victim. One of the fighters got in that ring clean. One did not. One got in the one showed up to the competition under good faith and one did not. I promise y'all, y'all will not let nobody hoe y'all in life. Or maybe you would. Y'all won't let nobody cheat y'all out of dollar. Y'all won't let nobody cheat y'all out of nothing in life. But Devin should let it slide. Devin should get it back in blood. Devin should get his lick back in the ring. I'm not saying I wouldn't like to see that, but honestly, I, I wouldn't blame Devin for saying I don't want to be I don't want to put no more money in that boy pocket. 
right? I don't want to put no more money in his pocket for what? Because I honestly, he may have cost him the tank fight. You see, he may have cost him some bigger fights. You know, it's a difference between when you undefeated and you're not undefeated. And then everywhere you go, they post memes of Devin on his ass with his ass in the air. Right. They don't show you that he rose every time he was knocked down. They don't show you that a few of them judges had Devin winning several rounds in that fight. They don't want to talk about that because the image of a brother being defeated is the most powerful image when those are the people that are dominant in the sport. That's why when Tyson Fury did a statue of himself and immortalized himself, guess who was in his statue? Deontay Wilder on his back. When you go to the United Center in Chicago, do Michael Jordan statue got John Starks under it? Do it got Dikembe Mutombo under it? Do it got anybody he dunked on under it? No, sir. It's Michael's statue, Michael's alone. And that goes for Shaq or Kobe or anybody. You don't see other people in their statue because who they are is just enough. But when you want to say, this is who I am, I, this is what I did. I defeated the big, strong black man. That's, that's why I fear he has Wilder at the bottom of his statue. So again, Ryan, uh, uh, Ryan is a openly proud racist. Maybe y'all forgot the conversation I had with Ryan. And now y'all want to victimize this man? It's a, such a weak move, man. Devin's so weak. So Devin was weak when he rose every time in the ring. Devin was weak when he when he chose to fight Lomachenko and Regis Progre and Ryan Garcia. And what has Devin done that says he's weak? I haven't seen it. That y'all saying what y'all would do. But again, some of y'all can't run two, three miles. Y'all not in physical shape. Y'all not boxers and ain't nobody punch y'all in the mouth and I don't know how long. So again, it's easy for you to say sitting on your ass at home, eating cookies and Snickers and shit. Oh, you should just do this. You should do that. This is this man's life. It's not just, you know, the next interview, the next YouTube video. This is his life. And you don't play with your you don't play with your mind. You don't play with your life. You don't play with the damage you take to the brain. Boxing is not a game. Y'all always say that until it's actually time to practice that. Y'all always want to say you can't play boxing, but y'all playing. And I really don't understand. Well, I know why. Y'all defend, y'all defend Ryan because y'all don't like Devin. But to me, I can't respect anybody that try to act like Ryan is the victim. Right. I don't I don't I can't respect that. The dude is a oh, the dude. It's not even what he said. Again, this is the same dude before the fight who said, wouldn't it be cool if there was a league where everybody was on steroids? Then he can't tell you what he took. I don't know what I took. I just took it. I don't know what I took. I just took it. Come on, man. Be serious, bro. What's the weaker move? Having PEDs in your system, taking unidentified substances and not listing them. Yeah, that's what he got suspended for. Not listing what he took. That's illegal. That's cheating. If they say whatever you take, put it on this paper. That's fair. That's in the rules. And you say, well, I'm not going to list this. I'm not going to list the pill that Scooter gave me at the last minute that I took the day before the fight and the day of the fight or that I took the day of the fight. I mean, the day of the weigh in that was in my system uh, at the weigh in and the next day. I'm not going to disclose that. Well, if it's harmless, what he took and it ain't illegal, then why didn't he put it on the damn paper? Y'all can't answer that. Y'all can't answer that. So again, a lot of y'all look like clowns, bro. And I'm so glad that I really don't have to interact with a lot of y'all. 
See, I'm not even worried about my comments because I've seen enough already, bro. That's why I don't really, really get into my comments no more like I used to. Because so many of y'all are just clowns, nigga. Y'all clowns in real life. Y'all got no motion. Nobody respect y'all. Y'all not known as stand-up people. You not stand up in your family. You not stand up in your community. You don't stand up for anything but stupidity. And this is the type of society we live in. Where dudes like Ryan could tell you, F your mama, F your daddy, F your sister, F your grandma, F your grandfather, and F all these people that include people that look like you. And you defend him. That's insane to me, bro. But again, when you have no backbone, you slimy, you slivery like a snake. That's what it comes down to. Right? So, I mean, my interactions, you know where I sit. I'm the only person that called in when Ryan was on that tangent about black people. Have Ryan done a Twitter space about all of the Mexicans digging under the damn walls to get into America? Nope. Have Ryan done a Twitter space on all the, all the cartel violence in Mexico? No. But he want, he want, he can't wait to jump in black people business and talk about black on black violence, right? While secretly wanting to be a black man. You see? So again, man, what's the weaker move? If Ryan didn't do what he did, there would be no lawsuit to file. Wow, what a concept, cause and effect. If Ryan didn't do what he did, then he wouldn't be suspended. Wow, the cause and effects of life, the karmic effects of, of life, it's quite, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Imagine that. If you don't do this, this don't happen. If you do this, then this cannot happen. We wouldn't be having this convo. Ryan, again, that man would be, he didn't even fight for the belt. He should be the world champion today with his hand raised and a 140-pound world title and be on a press run of epic proportions. Instead, that boy fought for no title. He couldn't win the title. And he was banned from boxing for over a year. They talking about the WBC should sue. The WBC wasn't in the damn ring, you idiots. Again, some of y'all have the sense of, I won't even respect insects and, I, I won't even disrespect insects and, and animals because maybe they do have more sense than y'all. And I'm talking to who I'm talking to. A lot of you clowns listening to this video and you gonna cry about my video in the comments. That's what I want. I want all the pussy ass niggas to comment on my channel right now. Let me see who y'all are. Let the world see how y'all don't stand on anything. Am I, am I like, oh yeah, Devin, sue that man, sue that man. No, not really. But however he handled it, that's on him. That's on him. He was in that ring. He rose up from every knockdown. He fought through that. He signed up to fight Ryan. You see? So again... Y'all, y'all don't like it because there's some justice involved. You don't want Devin to get no justice. You want Devin to get hold and played. That's what this come down to. But now that that boy done took it to the law, to the court, that's why America is great. That's why Ryan don't want to be in Mexico. We don't know what they justice look like over there. You see, but in America, we have this thing called judicial process. And if Ryan ain't guilty, if Ryan didn't do this and do that, and he can prove his case, then I'm sure he'll slide, he'll slide off like a thief in the night. And he'll be quite all right. But again, if Devin have a case and the court see exactly what he's saying, and he can prove exactly what he's saying, he didn't finesse nobody. Who he finesse? Who did Devin cheat in this lawsuit? Who did Devin play with in this lawsuit? You see? So again, um, bro, I don't, I'm not trying to, 
I don't care who y'all like in boxing. I don't care if you Tank brother. I don't care if you Shakur brother. I don't care if you Keyshawn Davis brother. Again, <laughs> you see these dudes laughing and Kiki and ha ha and with Ryan. They different, right? They different. When he said when he said f all black people, he wasn't talking about y'all, right? He wasn't talking about you. He was talking about the mother black people, right? Whether he brought up black people or not, the dude is a drug cheat. He's a drug cheat. And there's a reason why he didn't list what he was taking on that paper. Oh, Miguel Cotto did this. Miguel, what did that have to do with Devin? So if that's the case, let's let everybody be on PDs. Right? Oh, because if you're really good, you're supposed to beat the dude on PDs. That's right. Whoever, whoever come in on PEDs, if you're really good, you're supposed to beat them anyway. All right. So let's let a B-plus level fighter come in, juice to the damn gills, and let's let the A fighter uh, uh, drain themselves all, all the way down to make the contracted weight. I mean, we didn't even get into the weight, right? That Ryan blew the weight intentionally. We, we don't really want to get into that, though, right? Weight loss for a dude who stopped trying to make weight at 143. So again, I'm so sad. I'm so, so sad that the proud racist drug cheat is a victim now. Poor baby. Poor baby. Poor baby. Just like Devin took his licks. Just like y'all wanted to shame and humiliate Devin. You know, just like y'all wanted to keep uh, uh, honing in on his loss and all of that stuff. Well... I mean, did he do something illegal? No, he didn't. He filed paperwork. Did he snitch on somebody? No. He ain't do nothing wrong. What did Devin do that was wrong besides get his get back? Yeah, that is getting my get back. Who says he don't want to fight? Maybe he'll fight him after the court, the, the, the judicial process is, is hammered out. I don't know. But I wouldn't blame him for saying, because me personally, I will never pay a dollar for nothing Ryan doing. Yeah, that part. I will never pay nothing. If Tank fight Ryan, I'll send some money straight to Tank Cash App. I'll send it to Upton Jim. I'll send it to Upton Jim. If Shakur fight Ryan, I'll send it straight to Shakur. Cash App. Zill. I will never put a dollar in Ryan's pocket. Especially if I, especially after I interacted with that nigga, he's a motherfucking clown, and a lot of y'all is clowns with him.